<laughs> all right, you guys, I want to show you this. I found it in my grandma's attic. It's all about Farrington's historical events and happenings. Come on. There's something in here about the girls' preparatory school that was built in the same place as ours. Listen, Thursday, September 25th, <laughs> 1953. Mass smallpox epidemic infects local girls' preparatory school. Chaos and sadness engulf the small town of Farrington this week after the massive breakout of smallpox in the local girls' preparatory school caused the deaths of 58 young girls. The first notification that the disease had been contracted was in 7th grade student Rosie Doyle, and it came from the nurse at Farrington High School last Monday morning. It says here that fortunately the nurse was not affected by the deadly disease and was available for questioning. Smallpox, also known as variola minor, is a disease that infects the respiratory system and sometimes the optical nerves. It leaves its mark through spots and rashes, mostly on the arms, legs, and face. It is most common in children, and once airborne, it cannot be stopped. Throughout the week, there was no doubt that the disease had gone airborne. Students throughout the school became infected, and once notified, the World Health Organization ordered an immediate quarantine. The girls were immediately isolated from the rest of the community. The rest of the community still survived and flourished. The vaccination for smallpox, a measure that has been taken for all the outbreaks in America since the 1950s declaration for the eradication of the disease, banished fear of another outbreak. Barrington Academy was closed down and boarded up. 58 girls died in the 1953 epidemic. The girls were buried in a special section of the local cemetery. The academy was burned to the ground and the new city high school will be resurrected in its place. A memorial service for the 58 dead girls will be held on Sunday, September 28th on the school grounds. The ceremony will consist of open eulogies and the singing of the popular children's rhyme, Ring Around the Rosie, a favorite of the girls. So, why haven't we heard about this before? I mean, something as serious as this, you know, I think we would have learned about it in school or something. That's the thing. The government wanted to eradicate any idea that the disease had been contracted in small towns and cities to avoid chaos. Plus. Who won't remember 58 dead girls being locked in their own school to die? So, what's the point of reading this to us? <laughs> That's the best part. There's this myth surrounding the story. <laughs> <laughs> According to legend, if you dance around in midnight and sing Ring Around the Rosie on the spot where the girls were buried, they come back to life, thirsty for revenge. Ooh. <laughs> I say we do it. I don't buy that story for a second. Gabby, you probably just wrote that journalism and you think it just goes. Ready? <laughs> gotten so bad we decided to uh, call in our own special animal girls you better get up or you'll sleep to lock in today, Mr. Uh, Randy. girls yes, uh, I'm not used to being on radio it makes me have more problems uh, so what is there any kind of explanation for what, what I swear I do not know what I'm gonna do with those girls I mean staying out all night happens when this and not even the sense to tell me where they're going but what kind of predator could set off a reaction like Walking around. <laughs> I, I, uh. 
to shut up for like 10 seconds. Can you? My personal affairs do not concern you. All right, look, are you asking one simple question? Okay? I don't care, Lindsay. Just keep quiet and go mingle with your freaks. Oh, Lindsay, you forgot. Sorry, it's just problems at work again. Oh, it's fine. So, um, I guess you got dragged into this too? Yeah, community service. Um, Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Alright, I guess I'll see you inside, buddy. Seriously, Mom, why did you have to pick her? Surely there were other foreign kids in her program. Now you watch over Anne Marie. She is your responsibility. Don't just ditch your introducer to your friends. But Mom, she's so weird. No buts. And be nicer to her. If you don't, then you're grounded for the next But month. Mom, the Hollywood Undead concert's next week. Then I guess she won't be going. Ugh, fine. And hey, don't forget to brush those teeth, young man. You hear me? Come on, Mom, you're embarrassing me. Why can't you just let me drive myself? Because I'm not the one who chose to wreck the car last week with his friends when you went for a two in the morning jolly ride. So give me a kiss goodbye and get your butt but, in there. But Mom! No, but, Ethan O'Brien, if you don't give me a kiss goodbye, um, you're never going to see another car. Love you, Mom. See ya. Have fun. Well, your mother's here today. Chocolate, baby. Okay, all right, everybody, let's make our way into the gym now. Okay, okay, come on, come on, let's go. Bones in the bucket. In the bucket, please. Yes, thank you. Margaret, don't think I don't see you. Try to sneak in. Jesse, who's the friend? Oh, this is Anne Marie. She's an exchange student staying with me. So, guys, did you hear Ethan loves his mommy? Can it, Reagan? <laughs> to have a good time tonight. Yeah! Woo! All right. Good to hear. Well, before we start, I have to play the teacher for a few minutes and go over some of the rules with you all. Uh, 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 no whining. Just sit there and take it, like the mature students that I know you are. Um, hello? Uh, you, Missy in the back. Can, uh, can we get rid of those earphones, please? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Well, first off, welcome to the very first annual Farrington High School Leadership Mentor Lock-In Program. <gasps> My name is Miss Polly Petrie, and I will be your supervisor for the night. <laughs> I must ask again that all cell phones, computers, and any other potentially disturbing electronics be handed in to me or another supervisor immediately. We're here to connect with each other, not the outside world, okay? Are we clear? Good. <laughs> now, the boys will be sleeping in the boys' locker room, and the girls will be sleeping in the girls' locker room. Any, uh, Mixing of the sexes after curfew will be met with repercussions. <laughs> Understand? Well, alrighty then, children. Let's make our way over to the gym for an evening of fun-filled excitement. <laughs> <laughs> I know 
know you all probably already know each other, but what I want us to do right now is just go around the circle and introduce yourselves. Just tell me something neat about your life, just anything at all. Okay? Okay, let's uh well let's just start right here with Lindsay. Um hey. I'm Lindsay Sullivan. And uh, I paint. Well, <laughs> now Lindsay. That was very good. <laughs> Next, um, Stuart, tell us something interesting about yourself. I'm Stuart Robert Andrews, and I enjoy long walks on the beach, Sylvia Plath, and season six reruns of Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> well, aren't we a colorful bunch? <laughs> Just we further strengthen our community bond through some small group discussions and wholesome sport activities. Oh, why, Jesse, I think that is a marvelous idea. All right, now, what would you all like to uh... Hey, guys, how's this for some wholesome activities? Dude, that's awesome. What do you say we go mess with that Anne Marie girl? No way, man. She'll like some of the dead on us or something. Come on, she's not that scary. Nah, Justin, he's right. How about we go scare Veronica? She's the biggest wuss I've ever seen. Yeah, remember that time in biology last year in the dissection? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Come on, you guys. I've got a plan. Hey, Veronica. Can I ask you for a favor? What do you want, Jesse? Was I talking to you? <laughs> Look, anyways, it won't take long, but I'd really appreciate it if you would do it for me. Sure, what do you want, Jesse? Uh, well, when we were rushing out of the auditorium, I forgot my iPod by the stage. Can you go get it for me? Um, yeah, that's not a problem. Oh, thank you so much, you're a lifesaver. Wait, wh why don't you just go get it yourself? Oh, well, Miss Petrie would like, get all weird about seeing me leave. <laughs> she might think I'm up to something. But she likes Veronica. All you have to do is run in, grab it, and run out. What was that? Nothing. Nothing. Never mind. Whatever. Would you mind? Sure. Oh, thank you so much. Veronica, you're not seriously going to go get his iPod, are you? Let the jerk do it himself. Nah, it's okay. I don't really mind. <sighs> stage, right? Check out this footage. Just look at her face. It's priceless. <laughs> yeah, it's priceless. Yeah, it's what on earth did you guys do to her? Simmer down, Chiquita. She just ran downstairs. I'm sure she's fine. Yeah, and what if she's not? She is very sensitive, Jesse, and you took full advantage of that. Come on guys, settle 
down now. All right. Children, hello. Come on, Johnny, not a bat. Children exhaust me. This is boring. Uh, do you want to go to the theater? Yeah, sure. Better than sitting here with these boobs. What about Miss Petrie? Check it, Miss Petrie's conked out. <laughs> really hoping you remembered to pack it since you used it last. Um, how was I supposed to know you wanted a curling iron? When have I ever not wanted my curling iron? Okay, uh, I'm sorry. And, uh, can we talk about earlier? Listen, Lindsay, it is not my fault that you so enjoy sticking your nose in my business, and I do not owe you an apology, okay? Actually, I, I was gonna apologize, but, um... Well, whatever. Have fun with your little freaks. And you're supposed to be the older sister. John, let's play some b ball. Yeah, good idea. Dude. Hey, you're probably gonna need a ball, right? Yeah. Hey, where are those? I think there's some downstairs. I can help you look for them if you want. Actually, I don't know where those balls are. Oh. <laughs> well, how about Karen and John go look downstairs, and I'll go look with you upstairs. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah, right. Upstairs. Hey, Karen, John, we'll uh, catch you later. are all these lights off? Hello? Reagan? Ethan? Stuart? Now, if this is a prank, <laughs> Jesse Michaels, if you're behind this, you better count on a phone call home, young man. Hello? Children, this is not funny. If you all don't fess up right now, there will be repercussions. S suspension for all of you. Shame on you. And at a mentoring program, too. Oh, 
Why? What's your problem, Reagan? You look like you've seen the devil. That's a person. Guys, watch out. Turn around. Aw, oh, cutie. I see your trying to <laughs> It's so oh priceless. <laughs> hey, Reagan. So hot, Freddy. Whoa, freak out a little, why don't you? <laughs> Where was it? She went to the basement with the other girls to take a shower before bed. Oh my god, downstairs? They can't go downstairs. Why? I mean... Because then they'll get them too. Who, Reagan? Then, the, the people that came into the school, and they're like, oh my god. You want to spit it out already? Please, guys, just believe me, this is serious. We have to go help them. So wait, you want us to go downstairs to the locker room with you? Let me get my camera. Look, Reagan, um, if they really are in danger, we'll help you, but you gotta promise to fill us in, okay? Find upon arrival, no one knows. Dun dun dun. Jesse, you purr! Turn that thing off! Yeah, get out Jessie, of here! Jesse, get out of here! Where's Lindsay? Where is she? Reagan, what are you doing here? Oh my god. Thank god you're okay. Oh, get off me. You smell horrible. What's your problem? You all are exactly a bushel of daisies yourself, you know. Ever heard of soap? Smells like a freaking graveyard down here. You're one of the top race heads. Shut up, you guys! Just shut up! This is serious. There are things here inside the school, and they, they, they just... Reagan, what are you even talking about? Why don't you know the boyfriend just run back down that stairs? Where do you run off to anyway? Lindsay, you don't understand! There are things here that I can't explain to you, but they're dangerous, Lindsay. Do you understand that? Reagan, it's your turn to listen to me for once. You don't belong here. Get out. Wait, that doesn't speak. Whoa, you can talk. Jesse, shut up. Can you have some common courtesy for once? Go on, Avery. That doesn't speak. Go on, what does it mean? Um, right, everyone, look. Ethan and I, we, we saw these things coming to the school, and then Karen and John were, it, they, John, um, Oh God, it was Petrie. She yes. She got attacked or something. And then Ethan and I were up there to find her, and then Karen and John were were just they all they died. Uh, okay, okay, Reagan, calm down. Will you just tell us what you saw? Reagan, where are Ethan and Miss Petrie? Clearly, there's something out of the ordinary going on around here. But if we can all just 
band together and sort of feel this out for a minute. Like the discarded corpses of an unwanted cattle, the sour milk of a hungry dinner, the bittersweet scent of autumn ashes perfuming the intensity around us, the bruises, blisters, and scars of an endless night, silent with both regrets of innocence and betrayal alike. This is something evil, something ancient, inexplicable, impossible, and yet we tread in its wake. Seriously? You haven't said one word this entire time, and now you're suggesting what? Zombies? Yes. Guys, I know this isn't the best time, but if we don't get out of here soon... Okay. Guys, look at me! I know she did! Just follow me! Half a semester of classes, and you'll know this school backwards and forwards. Care to tell us where you're taking us? Oh yeah, there's a secret entrance to the auditorium basement from here. I didn't know the auditorium had a basement. Clearly, you've never skipped driver's ed. Somehow, I think I've established that already. OK, 
Okay, see that door in the, at the end of the hallway there? That's our ticket out of here. Wait, so we're under the auditorium? That door, that could be where the zombies came in. We can't go through there. Yeah, our, all the doors locked anyway, so no one can get in. Well, they got in somehow, right? Plus, it'd be against the school's fire code to lock all the doors in case of emergency. I'm pretty sure this fits in the criteria of big freaking emergency. Besides, this door is never locked. Trust me, I know. I guess we could look for a weapon or something. Whatever. Lost, isn't it? Hope's never lost, it's just pushed to the back of the mind. Without hope, that tiny fleeting notion of perpetually intangible perfection, that utter drive and willpower to overcome the impossible. Forsake that which truly makes us human. No matter what happens tonight, Reagan, don't ever give up to it. Everybody, look! Oh my god, is that you? Are you okay? Guys, guys, we have to help her! What happened to you? Down here, this means. Oh my god. Don't! Oh my god, don't touch me! Reagan, get back! Look, she's infected. But she's not like the others. Her transformation's incomplete. She can still communicate, so some of her mental being can still function, but she's definitely dangerous. Margaret. He's right. Just get out of here. Save yourself. Margaret, no. We are not leaving you. Stuart, tell her. Tell her right now. Reagan. Reagan, he's right. I'm <coughs> too late. Morgan, please. Look at me. Just to get back. Look, she's not safe anymore, all right? There's nothing more we can do about it. Stay back. Stay back. Here. Take this. Use it. Parker, no. Please, don't. Don't. Go. You can never turn back. Seriously, consider dropping that cell phone right about now. Right? Hello? I'm asking a question of emergency. Okay. I'm on the phone. Don't worry, Margaret. We're not gonna leave you. Oh, really? And it seems so easy to just leave her back there, right? This is different. She still has a chance. Jesse, she's infected. Don't you get that? Guys, if you don't figure something out right now, none of us are working. Margaret, please, look at me. Open this gate, now! Jesse, come on, just leave her! Margaret! Jesse, look, she was my friend too, but she's There's no turning back. You have to let her go. Leave it, there's no time! Come on! What's the problem? Zombies. No, inside. Oh, no, 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 down now. What's the problem? We got a 9-11 call from this location a little while ago. What's the problem? What exactly is going on here? Massacre. This is Officer Goodfellow. I'm at Farrington High School. I need backup. We've got an emergency on our hands. You kids, go ahead and get in the car. You've been through enough. Here, take this. Just watch it, okay? For us. For them. For Lindsay. 